Rio Ferdinand, Monumental Bell End. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Paul and welcome back to the Toon Review YouTube channel where today we are talking about Rio Ferdinand and his derogatory comments towards the Newcastle United fan base. Now, I wasn't actually going to do a video on this because I know there's been a couple of other channels done it and there's been a lot said on Twitter about it, but you know what, I've got to get my say in. And uh, like I said in the intro, what a monumental bell end this man is. I mean, to have a go at the Newcastle United fans... Um, you know, saying that we should buy the club. Does he not know what's going on at the minute? There's a pandemic. And it's not like the North get treated with any decent respect by the South anyway when it comes to politics, etc. We are struggling up here, big style. And this is the point I wanted to make about a rich footballer who doesn't seem to have any idea of reality or what's going on in the northeast or the north of england for that matter not just the northeast i'm talking about yorkshire northeast places like that who don't get the same funding from parliament as the south do which has been the case for years and years and years but this isn't political this is about a man who has no respect for a fan base at all i mean you know, Rio Ferdinand's probably sitting there in his Sports Direct thong and he, you know, sucking on the big toes of Mike Ashley in some dingy casino somewhere. You know, yes, we know you love Mike Ashley, Rio. That's plain and simple and very easy to spot. However, don't you dare have a go at the Newcastle United fan base. There's a pandemic going on at the minute. Shops are closing. Businesses can't open. And you expect us to put our hands in our pockets and just simply buy the club just like that. What kind of brains do you actually have, man? You know, you seem when you come across on the TV, you seem like a decent guy. You seem like you know your stuff. You've got your brains about you. But this is totally pathetic to come out and say that. You've already made comments in the past about how we should be thankful for Mike Ashley being at the club and how he saved Newcastle United. No, he hasn't. We have had 14 years of absolute dross, Rio Ferdinand. Absolute dross. You know, I made a video yesterday on some of the crap that uh, Gabby Agbonlaho came out about Steve Bruce. And now you're coming out with just as much shite as Mike Ashley. You know, it's pathetic. You know, look back at the 14 years of Mike Ashley running this club and you will understand, Rio, what pain Newcastle United fans have been through for that amount of time. And where we find ourselves at the moment, we find ourselves near the relegation zone in serious trouble of going down. And you say we should be lucky to have a man like Mike Ashley, who's already had two relegations since he's been here. And if we go down this time, we will not come straight back up. We will probably end up like Leeds or Sunderland and ha because of terrible ownership. You know, you've got to think of reality here, Rio. You know, we're not just saying this for the sake of saying it. We're saying it because we love our football club and we hate our football club being in the position that it's in. And when you get arseholes like you coming on, spouting off how we should be thankful and grateful for everything Mike Ashley's done, give me a fucking break. You are a pathetic excuse of a human being saying crap like that. You have nothing to do with Newcastle United. You've never had anything to do with Newcastle United. And you talk about clubs and having been thankful for the owners. Your previous club, Leeds United, were dragged through the doldrums and their, their fans have been to hell and back because of bad ownership. But no, you don't care about that because you moved to Manchester United and they're the only ones that count in your eyes. What an absolute bell end to say something like that about a football club and its fan base who have been loyal to the hill for years and years and years yet keep getting shit on time after time after time. We are the ones that count at this football club, not Mike Ashley. We will be there long after Mike Ashley's gone. Long, long, long after Ashley's gone. But at the minute... We as fans cannot see that light at the end of the tunnel that we truly, truly deserve. But to say that, or just put your hands in your pockets and buy the club, like it's some sort of simple thing to do. You're the simpleton here, mate, coming out with crap like that. Pathetic thing to say. Have some respect for people who are struggling at the minute big style because of a pandemic they can do nothing about. We can't even get to our club to voice our say. 
Steve Bruce is getting away with murder with the crap he's coming out with about the fans in the press conferences because he knows we can't get to the ground. We can't say anything about it. So don't come on television and radio stations or whatever bullshit you like going on and coming out with crap about Newcastle United fans. Because we have been through this shit, Rio. And for any other pundit that's sticking on the side of Ashley and Bruce, we've been through the crap. And we don't deserve it anymore. But this 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 breaks into a, a northern southern thing yet again because you wouldn't say that about Manchester United, you wouldn't say that about Chelsea, Tottenham, Arsenal, all them kind of clubs. As soon as they go into trouble, you're first online to say, "Oh my God, you know the the Glazers have got to go." The you know the Abramovich is doing terribly. You know, spending all this money, but where's the success? You know, have some kind of dignity. Explain to the Newcastle fans what the hell you mean by the crap that you come out with on a daily basis. You've been on about Newcastle United fans since about 2019 and enough's enough. Come and say it to the faces. Stop being a coward. Come on one of these YouTube channels and explain yourself. Because you're welcome to come on mine by all stretch of the imagination to answer some questions that the Newcastle fans have maybe got for you, Rio. You know, show some balls. Maybe come on, have a productive discussion instead of just slagging us off without knowing any of the facts about the Newcastle United fans. Because that's what gets our backs up. The fact that you don't know anything about us. You just think it's simple to put your hands in your pockets and buy a bloody football club for 300 million quid. You're having a tin bath, man. So I suggest you stop wearing your Ashley Blinkered sunglasses and your thongs from Sports Direct. Stop sucking on his big toes in dingy casinos and come and have a chat with the Newcastle fans and actually get some perspective and reality about what's really going on at this football club. Because what you come out with is just pure shite and nobody, nobody believes a word you say in the North, quite frankly, because you're so much against the Northern teams. So is half the media, to be honest. Let's, let's be fair. But you're welcome to come on here, Rio, and I'll get the fans to put some questions to you. I'll ask you the questions on camera. See if you've got the balls to actually come on and answer them. I bet you fucking haven't. Because you won't. Because you'll hide behind your little social media thing. You'll hide behind the TV cameras, but you won't face any of us in reality. To have a dignified discussion about what's really going on at this football club and how the fans really feel. Do the decent thing and speak to us. Without just assuming that we're all multi-millionaires up here and we've got money to buy a football club. When there's a pandemic going on and every family in the North East is struggling because of it. Have some fucking respect. Anyway, that's all I want to say. So as I say, if Rio Ferdinand ever sees this video, you're welcome to come on this channel and answer the questions like a proper professional human being instead of cowering behind cameras. Because I'd meet up face to face with you. I'd speak face to face with you, Rio. I'm not back and hiding behind a camera. But anyway, if you've enjoyed the video and you've agreed with what I've said, please do comment below. What's your thoughts on what Rio Ferdinand's had to say about the Newcastle fans of late? Not just of late, actually. Over the last couple of years, how he's back Mike Ashley to the hilt about everything. You know, that man can't do wrong in Rio Ferdinand's eyes. So do comment below what you think. Uh, any other fans of any other football clubs up here in the north who you feel, um, you know, the media's against and pundits are against, please do comment below. I'd be really interested to see how many of you feel like that. Um, but if you have enjoyed the video, guys, do smash the like button. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoy what you've seen, please do consider subscribing. Lots of football on here, live streams, live shows. Uh, giveaways, all sorts on here, so do get yourself subscribed, uh, the channel's building nicely, it's all thanks to you guys out there, so well done on that, and uh, well, I'll catch you over the weekend at some point, I'm bound to, uh, every day is a new news day with Newcastle United, um, I am going to do an international roundup over the weekend, about what I think about the likes of San Marino and etc playing in the World Cup qualifiers, uh, so that'll be out sometime over the weekend, um, but in the meantime guys, do stay safe out there. Enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you on Monday night for the uh, Four Horsemen of the Toon Show. Don't forget that we also have the competition going on. I'll put the link in the description below. £5 per entry to win the Newcastle United um, Alan Shearer shirt. All, po all proceeds go to Parkinson's UK. Um, it's £5 per entry. Uh, I'll put the link below there. Closing is 6pm on Monday night. And then the draw is live on the Horsemen Show uh, the same night from 8pm onwards. So uh, set a reminder for that. Don't forget to miss it. And have a good weekend, guys. Take care. Be strong. Be strong.
Thank you.